Vitamin D reducing lung flare-ups by up to 40%, especially in individuals with COPD or emphysema. In a research article entitled, Vitamin D3 supplementation in patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, otherwise the acronym known as Vitico. I have no clue why they did that. Uh, multi-center, double-blind, randomized, controlled trial. So really good quality study. And the irony about it, it was published in the Journal of Lancet Respiratory Medicine this December 2014. And if we all know what Lancet's been saying about vitamin D the past year or two, it's quite irony, but you got to give the Lancet credit for doing this research. Here we go. The t short title of this complicated research uh, subject is Vitamin D Reduces Lung Disease Flare-Ups by Over 40%. And that's not an exaggeration. This is how the study ran. All right, the National Institute of Health Research funded randomized trial published in the journal Lancet Respiratory Medicine included 240 patients with COPD in and around London. Half the patients, 122, received vitamin D supplements, and the other half obviously did not. The D supplement dosage that they got was this, and this sounds extreme. Let's look at this. They got six bi-monthly oral doses of three milligrams of vitamin D over a year. Now let's break this down. All right, if you take, what is it? One milligram, a one IU I should say of vitamin D equals about 0.025 micrograms. They get in the math. So a thousand uh, IUs of vitamin D equals about 25 micrograms. And so if we look at it, we're looking at three milligrams, which if you remember your metrics, is gonna be the equivalent to 3,000 micrograms, which will give you about 120,000 IUs per dose twice monthly over a year. I have no clue why they did it that way, but I know I was gonna be asked the question, how much was it? And that's how you break it down. And so this is what they found out. Patients with a vitamin D deficiency benefited dramatically from taking the supplements, but the striking reduction in flare-ups was not seen among patients who had higher vitamin D status at the start of the trial. However, researchers did find vitamin D supplementation modestly re modestly reduce the severity and duration of flare-up symptoms in all patients in the vitamin D group, regardless of the baseline vitamin D levels compared to the placebo group. So if people were really deficient in vitamin D, you were going to get this huge number of helping up to 40%. If they were not deficient and the vitamin D levels were normal in the blood, they still got benefit, but not as dramatic as the 40%. And the researchers concluded this. Our research has shown how an inexpensive vitamin supplement can significantly reduce the risk of flare-ups for patients who are vitamin D deficient, which can have a major public health benefit. Our findings suggest that patients with COPD should have their vitamin D status tested and should begin taking supplements if their levels are found to be low, or maybe if they're normal, just to see if it helps any additional benefit. But however, that's how it is. Pretty interesting article in regards to vitamin D, and especially coming from the Lancet itself. Thank you very much once again. <music>